Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Cynthia, and we're back with another YouTube video. I probably should have looked a little bit cuter for this video, but I just wanted to give you guys tips on how to stay productive in college or like tips on being successful like moving towards success basically we're just gonna hop right into it but before i forget i need to look at the camera <laughs> when i speak anyways before i get into this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and share this video with all your friends and family okay all right so the first tip that i have for you guys is make sure you have discipline to have discipline it does not mean you need motivation let me just make that clear when it comes to discipline it means you are doing something that you know you have to do not necessarily because you want to like for example waking up at five in the morning to go to the gym you don't want to wake up at five in the morning but if you don't wake up at five in the morning then that will just set everything in your schedule back so you do it because you have to you know you you gotta set yourself up for success you can't do things because you don't feel like it. you can't do things because you're tired granted we all may have our moments but if you want to be better you have to you know kick those bad habits to the side real fast the second tip that i have for you guys today is if you're a christian i highly believe that when you put god first everything falls in line right after like the peace the love the unexplainable events that happen in your life all because you put him first says a lot and sometimes it doesn't even have to be anything extravagant it could literally just be peace being given peace through god or just having peace through god like it really calms your soul and really makes you feel like you're undefeatable like nothing can touch you what 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 ephesians 6 11 said put on the full armor of the lord okay because baby with that on nothing can hurt you nothing can harm you and nothing can go against you you know they always say seek the kingdom first seek it you will lose nothing you will literally lose nothing there's nothing to lose if you go seek him first nothing and that's i think that's the best part about it also ways that you can grow with god and build a stronger connection with him is fasting devotionals you know going to uh, prayer groups youth groups whatever event that your church is having that is to praise god and just thank him for everything that he's done in your life like just go to it honestly read your bible you know do what you gotta do third thing that i have for you guys is make sure y'all make a plan make a schedule i mean not a plan make a schedule such as using google calendar like planning out your day the day before um if you know you got to work out if you know you got an essay due if you know you got events you want to go to all in the same day plan it out i promise you when I, whenever i plan out my days i really feel productive especially when i get to do everything that i planned out whether it's waking up eating breakfast doing laundry studying any of those things whenever i make a plan and i check it off my checklist i feel so productive and i know it's not just me it can't be but yeah i just feel so productive when i do that so definitely plan your schedule and this leads into my fourth tip which is set short-term goals there's nothing wrong with setting long-term goals but setting short-term goals that lead to your long-term goal will make achieving your long-term goals much more easier and less worrisome because i know like sometimes you set a long-term goal and you want to complete it within a month but it's like where are the steps to get there if you get what i'm saying like you know y'all know what i'm saying but yeah so like set short-term goals because if anything whatever goal i complete long term short term i feel happy about it it really makes me feel good about myself the main idea with these tips is to make sure you help yourself feel good about yourself when you know you got your stuff on lock like you got your you got your you got your own back i got your back babe i got your back i got your back you know that's it. Nothing can come between that. The last tip that I have for you guys is do not stay in your dorm. Do not stay in your dorm. Do not stay in your dorm. Are you getting it? Is it? Don't. If it's going out the other ear, put your right back in because don't stay in your dorm. I stayed in my dorm like it was just going to class, back to my dorm, going to class, back to my dorm. And when I tell you that is so depressing, it's not fun. It's good to go out there breathing the natural air touch grass you know what i'm saying like you can't just be touching your bed all the time touch grass it's, it's good just go out there do something that involves 
being outside. Go out for walks, go out for fresh air, go outside to read a book, go outside to do your homework, go outside to study. You can do dang near anything that you do in your room outside, eating outside, sleeping outside. Okay, now I'm just naming stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, yeah, that's how I feel about that, so. Yeah, that concludes the five tips that I have for you guys. Um, I kept it very short, very simple, very sweet because I know we're college students. You want to watch this video and get straight to the point, and I did just that for you. Well, hopefully I did just that for you. But yeah, if you guys want any more tips or any more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.